Hi there, I'm Chris Berman. Here we go on ESPN. Dan, Peter, and Susie are living it up down to the Big Easy. The NFL on ESPN gets set for football and knowledge. Louisiana Superdome, the site for this one. We appear to have a good battle on our hands. Carolina Panthers, New Orleans Saints, now. We While the teams are out on the field getting loose, the fans are filing in and finding their seats for the game. Hello, folks. I'm Dan Stevens, welcoming you to the Louisiana Superdome. With me, my colleague, Peter O'Keefe. Peter, this game features a big-time matchup between an elite wide receiver and a defensive back who's one of the best in the league. That's right, Dan, and you've got to figure they'll be seeing a lot of one another today. Number 11, he's a very gifted receiver. He's an exact route runner, and that's crucial for an effective offense because it allows the quarterback to scan his receivers quickly and effectively. On the other side of the ball, we've got another top performer. Number 23, he's a highly competent cornerback. He's very skilled at pass coverage. He's got the ability to stick to his man and just deny him the ball for the whole game. Hold on, ladies and gentlemen. We've got a real dogfight in store for us. Okay, Peter, we'll see how they do once the game begins. But first, the toss of the coin. There's the signal, and we're ready. Number three kicks it off to begin the game. Number 88 downs this in the end zone for a touchback. The Panthers' offense will start this drive at their own 20-yard line. and stops that back at the 19. Jenkins targeted the ball carrier early and didn't even let him get back to the line of scrimmage. They put a stop to this play behind the line of scrimmage. Pretty good call by the defensive coordinator. Agreed, Dan. They, they had that locked up. That will bring up second down. Number 22 gets the call again and will gain close to six. Number 30 made a heck of a lead block on that play. They move the ball, and that'll bring up third down. Third down, one man back. Number two goes in motion. Arnold snags the missile, and they get the first on third and long. Number seven, threw the pass into double coverage, but gets his man perfectly. Hey, that was one accurate throw. The first pass out of the gates is a bomb, and he hooks up with his man. Peter, that's the way to start a game. Oh, awesome. Hold on. This is going to be one heck of a ride. Number 22 picks up six on the play, and that brings up second down. They couldn't connect on this one. Incomplete. Third down, three yards to go. Number seven throws a heater. Eight, the reception's made at the 39. And he's stopped right there. Robinson was in on the tackle. Fourth down coming up. Robinson just planted the ball carrier in the turf short of the markers. But the only thing that's going to grow there is the D's morale. The defense's back was against the wall, and they rose to the challenge, Peter. Yeah, Dan, that's great D. They had to make a stand here, and they stood together. It will be fourth down. 
Harris. Fair catches it at the 13. The Saints have a long field ahead of them and start this drive back at their own 14-yard line. Number two throws a heater right sideline and it's intercepted. Runs out at the 14. Number 31 took the football back for a little gain after he picked it off. He was hoping for more, but, you know, he'll take it. Boy, that was a heads-up play to come away with his first interception of the game. Yeah, you got to love D like that. The Panthers are going to try and capitalize on the interception. They'll start this drive at the 14-yard line. Number 11 goes in motion. Sacks him way back at the 19. Number 93 moved this offense back a few with a great sack in the backfield. You know, that was a great call. The defensive design worked flawlessly, and the refs have spot the ball well behind the original line of scrimmage. What a way to derail a series from the onset. Second and long ahead. <laughs> number 22 has his number called on second down and maybe picks up one on the play. Number 22 had some blocking help on that last one, but he was still left with nowhere to go. And there's a situation where he just made up his mind that the play had gone far enough. Yeah. And he was outmatched, too. That was all desire. score number 11 made a superb catch even though he had three guys closing in on him what a play that's his first touchdown of the day and, and i think he's a guy you can count on to make those end zone catches he sets a high standard for himself and he usually meets it now the extra point and it's good gets the signal and we're set number three kicks this one away Smith catches it back at the eight brought down at the 29 Smith was able to find some weak spots in the defense got a good run back off that kick all right man cool okay let's do this let's do this The Saints stalled early last drive, and we'll have to wait and see what happens here. They'll start at their own 29-yard line. Four receivers line up as the defense settles into a nickel package. Number two sings it to the right side, and the catch is made for a gain of a couple. Number 13 had two guys on him on that play, but still managed to make the catch. Not much there. It'll be second down. Got to take what you can get, Dan, but they were, you know, hoping for more. Second down and four wideouts in the game. This one will fall incomplete. Number 82 looked like he was all over that one, but it just got away somehow. Tough incompletion. That would have gotten the first, but it's incomplete, and it will be third down. This is the series here, baby. We got to stop him. Number two throws this up, and it's complete. Short of the markers, however, it'll be fourth down. Number 21 tackled him so close to the markers, he can probably taste it, yeah, along with the dirt and the grass he's trying to spit out. They let the ball move close to the first, but they could not let it pass. That's a great job of holding him back, Dan. Fourth and short. Number four gets the ball and punts it away. Number eight catches it at the 22. Stopped at the 26. Number 88 didn't have much room to work with back there. The special team squad made sure he couldn't respond to that really nice punt. 
The Panthers will start this drive at their own 26-yard line. Number 11 goes in motion. Number 7 passes this one after the play action, and it's complete for a first down and a whole lot more. In the receiver, receiver, receiver down, down here, number 72, Number 72 had no business being downfield on that one. He's supposed to stay on his side of the line, so he was an ineligible receiver. Number seven rifles this one hard over the middle and it's tipped incomplete. Jenkins swatted that one away cleanly. The receiver didn't have a prayer in getting that one. On second down, they try for the first, but it's played well by the defense. That will bring up third down. Nice pressure that time. Third down, one man back. First on third and long. Number seven, threaded the ball back there to his man, right past all that traffic. Good job. Nice pass, Peter, and he's really lighting up the stat sheet. Oh, you got it. So far, he's got 73 yards and one touchdown. Number 22 takes this one way out left and chews up about four on the play. Number 83 goes in motion. It's intercepted. Tackle left to 47. Number 7 was under fire in the backfield back there. I think that rushed him into throwing a bad pass for the interception. That's the first time he's been picked off today, and by the look on his face, well, he knows he should not have thrown that one. That is one unhappy man down there. The Saints have had some trouble moving the ball recently. We'll see what they do on this drive as they start at their 47-yard line. Number 41 takes his first carry of the game and chews up about four on the play. Number 40 makes the catch in the flat and gains a couple. Number two had no trouble zinging that one past the secondary. That was one heck of a throw. Not a lot of room on that play. It will be third down. Let's stop him here, team. Keep him out of field goal range, baby. Single back. Single back. Step three. Step down. Down. <laughs> Number two throws a bullet to the flat, and the reception is made for a first and more. Eventually runs out at the 29. First down. Number 13 had nobody on him. The quarterback saw it and got the ball to him. Nice catch, Peter, and his stats reflect that. Definitely, Dan. He's now got 26 yards on three catches. First down from the on. Number 31 goes right up the middle and picks up eight yards on the play. Number 41 gains five on the play, and that will bring up first down. Number 
Flashed his defender on that catch, and he had that play all the way. The touchdown was his for the taking, Peter. Good individual effort. Yeah, and great teamwork, too. Here's the point after, and it's good. It's good. the signal and we're ready number three booms a beauty here number 88 decides to take it out of the end zone breaks a tackle eventually tackled at the 32 number 88 had some nice support from his teammates as he hooked his way to midfield that's a great run and that'll do it for quarter number one and we're all tied Panthers were intercepted last time out. We'll see what happens here. We'll start at their 32-yard line. Number two goes in motion. Number seven gets all of his arm into this pass, and it's tipped. Incomplete. Robinson came in and got a hand on that football and left no chance for a reception there. That had potential for some yards, Peter, but the defense was on top of it and shut it down. Good denial there. Second down coming up. Second down, three wideouts in the game. Number 11 catches it in the flat, and that's good for six. Number 11 had nobody on him. The quarterback saw it and got the ball to him. They moved the ball, and that'll bring up third down. Number 7 throws a hitter right sideline the reception is made past the markers for a first down. first down. Number 30 made the stop and forced him out, but he couldn't stop the play before they got past the markers. They're unable to stop them on third down and allow the first. Yeah, the execution was definitely lacking there. Picks up a yard on the play, and that will bring up second down. Number 22 played it smart on that last one by following his blockers, but, hey, they were unable to open up any holes for him. And I'll tell you, Peter, he made a great tackle there. He brought down one of the more elusive backs in the game. Well, you're absolutely right, Dan, but if there's one guy on this defense that can stick with the ball and make the play, it's him. Number seven fires this one over the middle, and the catch is made for a gain of a couple. Number 11 made a superb catch, even though he had three guys closing in on him. What a play. Not a lot of room on that play. It will be third down. a play on this one and forces the incompletion. That will bring up fourth down. Robinson came in and got a hand on that football and left no chance for a reception. There. That is their fourth batted ball. I tell you, we've seen a number of good defensive plays from this squad. We sure have. We'll see if they can keep it up, though. Number three gets ready to punt this away. Number three gets the snap and punts it away.
The Saints bring their offense on the field and will start this drive at their own 20-yard line. Number 13 catches the heater left sideline and gets past the markers for a first down. Number 13 made a nifty little run there and got the first. Nice job. A well-designed play there, Peter, and they will move the chains. And let me tell you, Dan, hearing those chains move is one of the best sounds in the game for an offense. Number two throws a bullet to the flat, and he connects for a pickup of four on the play. Number two threw a nice pass past the coverage and got the completion. Tough throw, but an accurate throw. They move the ball, and it will be second down. Number 41 will get stopped at the line, and that brings up third down. Number 41 used the blocking, but this stingy defense didn't give up much at all on that last play. Peter, once he closes his grip around you, you are not going to get free, regardless of how evasive you are. Not with that strength. With those guns, he could probably juggle bowling balls or wide receivers for that. Movie. Number two, just right for this one, and it's caught at the 49. And he stopped right there. That will bring up first down. Number 12 had a defender close by, but was able to bring down the catch. A nice gain, and they easily convert on third down. Yeah, that was a good call. Number 41 gets the ball and passes the line. Tackled at the 47. Number 41 gains five on the play, and that will bring up third down. Third down with the tight end right. Number 41 gets the ball on third down and can't convert the third down. That will bring up fourth down. Number 43 made the save, dropping the ball carrier before he could get to the markers. That's his second tackle so far. the markers and convert the fourth down number 41 was assisted on that play by some great blocking that opened up holes for him without those blockers he would have been toast they convert on fourth peter and in this close game that could be a pivotal play absolutely they're focused and want to get some points out of this drive number 41 carries it yet again Takes it upfield. Back down at the 29. Number 41 played smart and used his blockers to perfection on that last play. Number two rifles it out left side and it's tipped. Incomplete. Number 26 came in and got a hand on that football and left no chance for a reception there. the 24 it will be first down him behind the 
line of scrimmage. Number 52 was a one-man wrecking crew back there. He powered into the backfield and made the tackle. They put a stop to this play behind the line of scrimmage. Pretty good call by the defensive coordinator. Agreed, Dan. They, they had it all locked up there. That will bring up second down. Second down. And this will be the 13th play of the drive. Number 41. Look at the carry on second down and will lose about a yard here. Number 97 targeted the ball carrier early and didn't even let him get back to the line of scrimmage. That will be two losses in a row. Great reads by the D on the last two plays, Dan. Number two throws the ball and connects at the 16. Tackled and the clock will continue to run. That will bring up first down. Harris had two guys on him on that play, but still managed to make the catch. What a big play on third down, Peter. His run after the catch is what made the play work. Yeah, Dan, you have to fight for those yards in that situation, and that's exactly what he did. First down, two wideouts on the field. <laughs> 41 catches it in the flat and that's good for a gain of five number two fires this one over the middle and this one is incomplete number 43 closed in from the zone and forced the incompletion on second down they try for the first but it's played well by the defense. That will bring up third down. Nice pressure that time. Third down, five yards to go. Number eight, tips it away on the coverage. Incomplete. Fourth down coming up. Number eight came in and got a hand on that football and left no chance for a reception there. Peter, the defense stood tall and forced the incompletion, but I don't understand that call. Uh, they wouldn't have gotten much at all, even if it was complete. Fourth down either way, and in my opinion, too, a bad call. Number three from 26 yards out, and they take the lead. Number three, booted a short one through the uprights. Hey, it's three points no matter how close you are. For the first time today, they leave the red zone with only a field goal to show for it. You know, overall, Dan, the defense has to be happy with how that one played out. The ref gets the signal, and we're set. Number three, rockets this one deep. Smith decides to take it out of the end zone. Stop at the 24. Smith took it out of the end zone, and while it may have been a little risky, he gets out close to the 20, so it all comes out in the wash on that play. The Panthers offense comes out and has an opportunity to tie it before halftime. They'll start at their own 24-yard line. Number seven just rifles this one, and it's intercepted. Brought down at the 26. Number 23 was part of the double zone coverage on that last one. He read the play, got in there, and got the interception. Well, that's their second interception of the game, and uh, Stingy is appearing to be the motto for their defense. Yeah, either that or give me the ball. The Saints will start a drive with the lead for the first time in this game. They'll begin at the 26-yard line. Thomason makes a play on this and forces the incompletion. Thomason came in and got a hand on that football and left no chance for a reception there. Number two unloads this one to the left, and the, the Saints take their first time off. First down, two tight ends in the game. Thomas 
Wilson kicks it away on the coverage, incomplete. Number eight, slapped around the receiver way too much on that play, and the ref let him know it with a flag for pass interference. Nobody's going in our house, baby. Single back, single back. Oh, I got 13. I got 13. Yeah. Well, they can run, but they also have a go-to receiver in there. Let's watch. Number two throws the lob here, and it's caught for a touchdown. Touchdown. Number 82. They're going triple coverage and came away with a phenomenal catch. That was little atonement for dropping the ball the last time it was thrown his way, Peter. He definitely made sure that he held on to that one. Yeah, much better focus that time around. point after and the it's good. Is good. The ref gets the signal and we're set. Number three kicks it off. Number 88 fields the kickoff. Drag down at the 20. Number 88 tried to run it out, but the defense preferred that he stayed put, and they made their case pretty forcefully there. The Panthers' offense takes the field with the clock at 13. Number two goes in motion. Arnold makes the catch on the right sideline and gets past the markers for a first down. And that'll do it for the first half of this one. The Saints enjoying a lead 17 to 7. And now let's send you to Chris Berman in our studios in Bristol for the ESPN Halftime Report. Boomer? All right, Dan. Interesting game at the half. We'll get back to you guys in a bit. First, we welcome everybody to our ESPN Halftime Report. I'm Chris Berman. Now we'll look at our first half by the numbers, and I tell you, first downs have been the story here. The Saints are winning because of it. Let's see if they can keep up their dominance in the second half. Let's get started in this one early in the first quarter. Number seven connected with his man on this one. Saints later in the first. Number 31 is reading the quarterback's eyes all the way as he's able to get his hands on this one and pick it off. The Panthers midway through the first. Number seven would find his target on this one. They strike first and go up by seven. The Panthers on D. Number 56 was in the right place at the right time as his interception was a possible momentum shifter. Panthers out in front, seven to nothing. Number two would drop back and deliver a strike on this one. A 16-yard touchdown for the Saints. The Saints even the score, seven all. Saints later on in the second quarter, ball at their own 36. Number two would drop back and deliver a strike on this one. That set up a 26-yard field goal. The Panthers late into the second quarter. Panthers losing by three. Number 23 would come up with a big play to kill a drive as he was able to step in front of a wayward pass for an INT. Saints creeping up on the end of the half. Number two connected with his man on this one. A 20-yard play that set up a Saint touchdown. And that's where we'll leave this one. Saints are up at the half, 17-7. Time now for our Halftime Hero Award, which recognizes the most dominant player of the first half. Duh. This time, there can be no question. Number two has played outstanding. And now let's return to the second half with Dan Stevens and Peter O'Keefe. Thanks, Chris. And today's game has been presented in ESPN Game Sound, designed and developed in collaboration with Dolby, the leader in surround sound technology. The Saints get the ball first this half, and another score by them could really open up this game. 
They currently lead 17 to 7. Let's go down to the field. Number three kicks it off to begin the second half. Number 29 fields the second half kickoff at the seven. Tackled at the 25. It looks like, uh, yeah, we've had an injury down on the field. As soon as we hear anything, we'll be sure to pass the information so you along to you. The Saints come out on offense and are well ahead. They have yet another shot to score and start this drive at their own 25-yard line. Number 41 will carry on first down and gains about three yards. I see counter. I see counter. Number 13 goes in motion. Goal, 52! Hut, hut! Hut, hut! Hut! Number two throws a beauty to the right side. And the big catch is made with daylight in front of him. Ten. And he's in for the touchdown. Touchdown, safe! Harris reeled in the football for a nice game, but he added even more with a terrific run. That's another medium-range catch for him. He's really found his niche in there. Yeah, unless he starts getting shut down, there's no reason for him to move out of it. point after and it's good. There's the signal and we're ready. Number three rockets this one deep. Number 88 decides to take it out of the end zone. Tackled at the 25. Number 88 got out close to the 20 on that one, so his decision to take it out of the end zone didn't really pay off, but it didn't really hurt him either. The Panthers' offense is now on the field, and except for a few big plays, they really can't be happy with their passing game up to this point. We'll see what they call on this drive as they start at their own 25-yard line. Number 22 picks up a yard on the play, and that will bring up second down. Number 21 was shaken up earlier, and I, I hear Susie Culver has a report for us. Susie? Thank you, Dan. I just talked to the trainers, and they said he got poked in the eye. They're patching him up right now, and it looks like he should be ready to come back in soon. Back to you, guys. Thanks, Susie. Second down, one man back. Number seven throws up bullet here, and it's tipped incomplete. Williams swatted that one away cleanly. The receiver didn't have a prayer in getting that. That is their fourth batted ball. Tell you, we've seen a number of good defensive plays from this squad. We sure have. We'll see if they can keep it up, though. short of the markers it'll be fourth down smith tackled him so close to the markers you can probably taste it yeah, along with the dirt and the grass he's trying to spit out there's a migraine waiting to happen for a <laughs> defensive coordinator they almost gave it up yeah, but they didn't let him convert it's still gonna go to fourth down fourth and short harris appears to the punt at the 27 tackled at the 36 Harris did a nice job getting some yards after fielding the solid punt. The Saints have yet another shot at scoring and are in command. Their offense takes the field and starts this drive at their 36-yard line. Harris goes in motion. Number 13. Stopped at 
the 49. It will be first down. Number 82. And he panicked when the ball got loose, and that was why he was able to reel it back in the boat. Coach Fox is not happy with that call, and he's going to challenge it. Hey, we want to challenge. Carolina is challenging one of the players in the session prior to the fumble. This is their right, first challenge of the game, and okay. even if they lose right. this one, they still have one challenge left. Well, Dan, we've got to see if the receiver established possession before he lost the ball. Remember, he has to have full control of it. That looks like a catch and then a fumble to me, Dan. I'm agreeing with the original After call. The, play the, play stands. Stands. the receiver, receiver did, did have possession. possession. It is, it is therefore, therefore ruled a fumble. fumble. Carolina, Carolina will be charged, charged with the timeout. timeout. First down. That will cost them a timeout, and you have to believe that he is not very happy with that call. Yeah, let's do it. Right. Delay of game, offense, five yard penalty. Repeat first down. Harris goes in motion. No dice, and it falls incomplete. Second down and five wide receivers take the field. Number two zings it to the right side and it's tipped incomplete. Number 21 managed to disrupt things. He got in there and he smacked that pass away. Great D. A nice defensive play will give him his second batted ball of the game. Yeah, great read there. the first on third and long. Smith was really getting crowded out there with three defenders, but he still made the catch. On third and very, very long, and they come out with a big play to move the chains. That was really quite a call. <laughs> it sure was. Got to give those guys on the sideline credit for drawing up that bad boy. Number two throws this on a rope, and it falls incomplete. Number 13. Looked like he was all over that one, but it just got away somehow. Tough incompletion. That's his first drop, and it is not often you see that from him. No, normally he's pretty sure-handed there. Second down, tight end to the left. Number 41. Catches it left sideline and loses yards on that one. Number 41, lost yards on that play back there. You got to get some yards before you can run out of bounds, fella. They get moved back a bunch there, and that's going to make the upcoming third down that much harder. Yeah, they also wipe out a bunch of potential plays by moving from a short yardage to a long yardage situation. Let's see if they can convert. Number 12 goes in motion. Number two throws a beauty to the right side, and it's intercepted. And touchdown! Number 31 can't go wrong on this play. A key interception, and he took it back for a touchdown. Man, this team is going wild. Peter, you couldn't ask for more from him today. He has done his part. And then some. So far, he's got two interceptions. Number four to attempt the extra point. Number six, holding. Here's the extra point, and it's good.
ref gets the signal, and we're set. Number three kicks this one away. Number 29 fields it all the way back at the seven. Drag down at the 28. Number 29 received that nice kick and a nice little run back after the catch. Good job. The Saints stalled early last drive, and we'll have to wait and see what happens here. They'll start at their own 28-yard line. Number 41 gains eight yards, and that brings up second down. Young used every ounce of his big self to do some key blocking on that last play. Peter, what a nice pickup to get them into a second and short situation. Yeah, great play, and now they have a bunch of options on what to try next. Number 41 gets the call again, and he heads out right. Stop at the 38. Number 41 got some help on that one in the form of blocking, but... He still couldn't make a play out of it. Not much there, but they'll get another shot on third and short. Third down with a split backfield. Number 41 cruises out to the left side and picks up the first down. Number 41 played smart and used his blockers to perfection on that last play. A big gain on third, and they will easily move the chain. Perfect call for the situation, Dan. No trouble in getting the first. Number two zings it to the right side, and it is not reeled in. Incomplete. Number 29 had superb coverage on that play. No wonder it was incomplete. The defense stood up to that play and shuts down what would be a minimal gain anyway. It'll be second down. Number 41, powered forward with the football thanks to some initial blocking. Problem was they couldn't keep that push going for very long. Well, not much of a game there, and they will face third down. Third and long, too, Dan. Big play coming up. Third down and four wideouts in the game. Number two, throws a heater, and it's incomplete. Smith close back there, but no dice. He couldn't quite get his hands around that mid-range missile. Peter in third down situations, they have not been successful at all with the pass. This play was more proof. Boy, third is such a crucial down, Dan. And when you don't convert, it really hurts. Number four lines up for the punt. Number four gets the snap and punts it away. Number 88 fields it at the 17. Rock down at the 25. Number 88 did a nice job getting some yards after fielding the solid punt. The Panthers offense takes the field and they will start at their own 25 yard line. Number 22, chews up four yards, and that brings up second down. Second down, just a single receiver on the field. Number 22 will get the handoff and gets past the line. Brought down at the 36. First down. Number 22 played it smart back there by following his blockers, and that allowed him to make some good yards. Nice second down call, and they will move the chain. On offense, it was always a plus to avoid third down altogether, just like that. First down and gains about three yards. Okay, pal, we went over this all week in practice. Now we're going to get it this time. Now we're going to go just like it is. We're going to execute, okay. we're going to stay strong, and we're going to get to the spots we need to. Okay, fellas? Watch the counter. Watch the counter. Counter. 
Number 22 carries it for the 12th time and hits that right, tackled at the 42. Third down, both tight ends left. Fletcher goes in motion. Number seven, zings it to the right side and it's intercepted. Stopped at the 49. That was perfect positioning back there to get the interception. Heck of a defensive play. That's their third interception of the game. And Peter, the D is homing in on the passing game. Yeah, tough play. I love it. The Saints had their last drive stall out at the end. We'll see if they can keep momentum throughout this one, which starts at their 49-yard line. This pass will fall harmlessly to the ground, and it's incomplete. Okay, guys, we've covered this before. You know the plan. You know what to do. Just stick to the plan. Number two really rifles this pass, and the catch is made well past the markers for a first down. Number two rolled the dice by targeting a receiver with two defenders near him. But the pass clicked, and they'll move the ball. There's another great throw. I tell you, he's having a good game today, Peter. Yeah, really good. I, I'm glad to see he's carrying the momentum over from the first half. Number 13 snags the dart right sideline and tries to get free. He's in for the touchdown. Number 13 made the catch and took off for a huge game. The reception was just the beginning of the play. Wasn't supposed to be a touchdown pass, but he made it one with that terrific run after the catch. He fights for every inch he can get out there so you don't leave any daylight between him and the end zone. the extra point and the extra point is it's good. good. There's the signal and we're ready. Number three kicks it off. Number 88 fields the kickoff at the two. Ground to a halt at the 24. Number 88 was able to find some weak spots in the defense. Got a good run back off that kick. The Panthers offense takes the field and their running game has yet to get on track. We'll see if it happens here as they start at their own 24-yard line. Number 11 goes in motion. And that'll do it for the third quarter. The Saints in command of this one, 31 to 14. Seven. It looks like, uh, yeah, we've had an injury down on the field. As soon as we hear anything, we'll be sure to pass the information along to you. Yeah,
We stop him right here yeah, and right now. I burn. I burn. I burn. I land. Picks up a yard on the play, and they will move the chain. Number 22 fought for every yard back there and capped it off with a nice juke move. Got him a couple more yards, too. A nice play, and with only a short distance to the first, they put it together and make it happen. Yeah, third and short always looks easy, but it's not, Dan. It's good execution. First down, two wideouts on the field. Williams tips it away on the coverage, incomplete. Williams swatted that one away cleanly. The receiver didn't have a prayer in getting that one. And Peter, you have to figure that when GMs draft defensive players with a few extra inches to them, this is what they have in mind. Yeah, you know, back in my day, you'd see guys 5'8", five 5'9", five back there, but again, that was back in my day. A different era, as Absolutely. you like to point out. <laughs> <laughs> Number 22 carries it past scrimmage and heads up field. 15 5 touchdown. Number 22 played smart and used his blockers to perfection on that last play. Peter, that will put a touchdown in his stat column. And that's always nice to have, Dan. So far, he's got 110 yards and one touchdown. Watch your assignment, D. Watch your assignment. Number 6, Holdy. Now the extra point, and it's good. There's the signal, and we're ready. Number three kicks this one away. Number 29 catches it back at the two. Another move. Drag down at the 26. Number 29 received that nice kick and a nice little run back after the catch. Good job. The Saints will start this first play of the drive at their own 26-yard line. Harris goes in motion. Number eight, the four, grabs the fastball over the middle and is well past the markers for a first down. Number 84 easily overcomes the double coverage to nab the football. Perfect synchronization by the quarterback and the receiver. Way to get open. A well-designed play there, Peter, and they will move the chains. And let me tell you, Dan, hearing those chains move is one of the best sounds in the game for an offense. Number two unloads this to the right sideline, and it's tipped. Incomplete. Taylor got himself in prime position to bat away that football before the receiver even had a shot at it. Another batted ball, and they have been attacking the pass every chance they get. That's right, Dan. You know, why simply defend a pass when you can obliterate it? Second down, 10 yards to go. Number 41 carries this one off to the right and chews up about four on the play. Number two, throws a beauty to the right side, and they get the first on third and long. Number 82 took on triple coverage and came away with a phenomenal catch. A beautiful pickup, Peter. Everyone on the offense is happy about that play. Definitely. Great call by the offensive coordinator. And it will be a first down. Number 41 tackles off his left guard and rambles for about five. Second down, tight end to the left. Number two puts his arm into this one and it's complete for the first down and a whole lot more. Number 
13. Took on triple coverage and came away with a phenomenal catch. I'm glad he finally nabbed one because he's had a string of missed catches before this. Yeah, his quarterback obviously didn't lose faith in him, though, Dan, because he's kept throwing it his way. Randy! Randy! Throw! 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 Down! I got 13! I got 13! I got 11! <laughs> Number 41 makes it to his 20th carry and picks up the first down. Number 41 played smart and used his blockers to perfection on that last play. No prisoners! Take no prisoners! I, I. There's a lot of weapons out there, Dan. They can get you through the air or on the ground. Number two throws this one on a rope, and it's caught for the score. Number two made a nice throw there, got it right past the defender. He made yet another big TD pass, and Peter, what a surprise he's been today. Oh, yeah, he's not used to those kind of numbers, but I'll tell you what, he'll take it. point after and it's good. The ref gets the signal and we're set. Number three booms a beauty here. Number 88 downs this in the end zone for a touchback. The Panthers, offense is now on the field, and except for a few big plays, they really can't be happy with their passing game up to this point. We'll see what they call on this drive as they start at their own 20. Number 83 catches it over the middle, and he picks up nine. Second down, one man back. Number seven unloads this to the right sideline, and it's caught at the 46. Number 53 puts a lick on the receiver and separates him from the ball. Incomplete. Number 20 had to leave the field earlier in the game, and now Susie Calber has a report. Susie? Thanks, Dan. Well, after talking with the team doctors, it appears that he's got a broken hand. They're sizing him for a brace, but progress is slow at best. I've been told that his return is questionable. Guys, back to you. As always, we'll hope for the best up here in the booth. Thank you, Susie. Number seven pops this one out to the left, and the catch is made at the 12. Touchdown! Smith made the catch back there, but then worked for a few extra yards on top of that. Great effort. Peter, this touchdown was a very important one. Well, it pulls them closer and keeps them in the game, Dan. They'll need more of the same if they want to pull this off, though. Let's go, baby! Get your hands up! Here's the point after, and it's good. They're setting up for the onside kick. Number four bounces it up. Smith gets it off the bounce at the 41. Tackled at the 42. Haynes will be credited with the tackle. Smith didn't waste any time grabbing that onside kick. He didn't want to give the kicking team any chance at it. They can't bring down the onside kick. Pretty aggressive play calling there, though. Well, the offense is like a one in four chance of recovering uh -huh. those, but they knew the risks. The Saints are in control, but it's far from over. The offense comes out and will start this drive at the 42-yard line. Number 41 gains three yards, and that will bring up second down.
Second down, and they line up with three tight ends. Number 41 gets the call again and gains about three yards. short of the markers. It'll be fourth down. Number 43 made the save, dropping the ball carrier before he could get to the markers. He now has five tackles in the game. Fourth down, and the field goal unit is on the field. Fourth down, one yard to go. <laughs> Number three boots it from 50 yards out and has it sailed just left of the upright. Number three missed a long field goal there. Not a cakewalk, but he, he's made those before. We'll start this drive near midfield with the clock at 1.56. No good, incomplete. Second down, the clock is stopped at 1.51. Number seven throws a big rainbow here. And the Panthers will take a timeout. That's their second. First down, three wideouts in the game. Incomplete. Number 11 had some room on the fringes there, but couldn't reel in the pass. That falls incomplete, but it would have been a minimal gain had they completed it anyway. <laughs> Number 7 fires this one over the middle, and they can't connect. Incomplete. Down, empty backfield. Number 23 makes a play on this and forces the incompletion. That will bring up fourth down. Number 23 came in and got a hand on that football and left no chance for a reception there. Another batted ball. And they have been attacking the pass every chance they get. That's right, Dan. You know, why simply defend the pass when you can obliterate it? Fourth down and the field goal unit is on the field. Number four launches the 53-yard attempt and it's no good short of the goal post. Number four, thought he could make this supersized kick, but he can't split the uprights for three. Rip, 
Number four lines up to punt after the three and out. Number 88 makes the return. Number four makes the snap and punts it away. Number 88 fields the punt at the 18. Again gets free. Dragged down at the 41. Number 88 seized some prime field position for his offense with that huge run back. Uh, they needed that, especially after that nice punt. The Panthers stalled early last drive, and we'll have to wait and see what happens here. They'll start at their 41-yard line. Jenkins makes a play on this and forces the incompletion. And that is going to do it for this one. The Saints come out on top, 38 to 28. For my partner, Peter O'Keefe, this is Dan Stevens saying goodbye until next time. Okay, Dan, thank you very much. And let's welcome all of you back to the studio. I'm Chris Berman here to bring you our ESPN video games post-game wrap-up. The Saints stepped it up for sure, putting up some good numbers. Let's get started in this one early in the third quarter. Harris came up with a huge play here as they cover a lot of real estate on this one. A 72-yard touchdown for the Saints. The Saints have opened it up and now lead by 17. This time at the 42, number 31 would come up with a huge play here as he was able to pick one off here, then had some clear sailing in front of him. Touchdown for the Panthers. Panthers trailing by 10. Smith is reading the quarterback's eyes all the way as he's able to get his hands on this one and pick it off. The Saints have it off an interception. Number 13 had to work to find an opening but he was able to haul this one in. A 33-yard touchdown for the Saints. Saints leading 31-14. to 14. Number 22 is going to take this one to the outside. And once he gets the corner, it's a foot break. A 65-yard touchdown for the Panthers. The Panthers climb back again and are now down by 10. The Saints answering right back. Number 2 would find his target on this one. An 18-yard play that set up a Saint touchdown. The Panthers trying to answer back. Panthers down by 17. Smith makes him pay. He's running a deep route, and this ball is right where it needs to be. They climb back again and are now down by 10. 
the Panthers again have it. Number seven connected with his man on this one. A 23-yard play that set up a Panther field goal, but they couldn't connect. And that's where we'll leave this one. Saints win this one, 38-28. to Now let's catch up with the player who really ignited his team's offense with his death passing and has earned our Player of the Game award. Number two is standing by with Susie Culver. Suze? Thanks, Chris. You were fantastic, and you helped carry your team to a nice win. What do you think was the critical factor in getting the W? First off, I'd like to give it up to the fans. They were big for us at this game today. Man, we just fed off their energy, and they fed off ours. I'd like to give it up to all the fans out there. Chris, back to you. That winds up our broadcast of the NFL preseason on ESPN, the worldwide leader in sports for 25 years and counting. I'm Chris Berman. Thanks for joining us.